Welcome to a brand new series of Taskmaster. Across the next eight episodes, five comedians slash presenter slash actors will take on a raft of absurd tasks, desperate to win this near exact replica of my saggy old head. <laughs> and declare themselves the series champion. But who are these people? Well, without further ado, let's meet our shiny new competitors. They are Hugh Dennis! <laughs> Joe Lysett! <laughs> Lenny and the Fumpy, Mel Gedrich, and Noel Fielding. <laughs> and for the fourth series in a row, I'm assisted and sat next to little Alex Hall. <laughs> what have you been up to, Alex, since we last met? Well, obviously, the new uh, health regime, hence the legs. Lovely yeah. legs now. Lovely legs. <laughs> Doing my sport with my dad's friends. Yeah, weirdly. <laughs> Been hanging out with your dad's friends again. Yes, I have. Yeah. I mean, I was meant to say friends who are also dads like me, but I've said my dad's friends, so we'll stick with that. <laughs> and we've been doing a lot of um, the main sport we're doing is po a lot of pole vault. So we've all clubbed together. <laughs> and because um, it's not only the poles, it's then you have to rent like a stretch limo to transport the poles. <laughs> poles. <laughs> but now we can leap into structures higher than we could before. All right. Which In we go. Something that you've been aspiring to for a long time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should start with the prize task, right? Yes, because not only are they playing for the overall series trophy, but each episode we dangle a prize carrot for them to chase and win and eat at the end of each show. And today we've asked them to bring in the most interesting autograph on the most interesting vegetable. OK. <laughs> and so the series is off to an electrifying start. <laughs> yes, <it is>. Electrifying! <laughs> OK, let's uh, go left to right. Hugh Dennis, yeah. please tell us what your vegetable is and who signed it. I've been fascinated for years and years and years with the American civil rights movement, right? And wow. I would kind of wanted to get hold of the signature of Martin Luther King, but I couldn't get that. So I had to go for my second option, which was to get the autograph of the great American black civil rights leader, Malcolm X, yeah. on a carrot. Right. <laughs> 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 I was about to say, the only way that that could be less impressive <laughs> is, is if you couldn't draw an X. <laughs> Hell, surprise, you can't. <laughs> I didn't draw it. Malcolm. 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 <laughs> Joe, which uh, vegetable did you bring in and uh, who signed it? I brought in a yellow courgette. Um, I got a very interesting person's autograph on it. I got yours. <laughs> The time, so I thought you can't possibly think that you know your own signature is anything but the best. So I asked Sarah Pascoe to find you because I knew she'd see you at the Broadcast Awards that evening. Yeah. And she took your yellow courgette, which you signed. We can she, see it here. She did. There we go. <laughs> can't really sign your own name, can you? <laughs> your colleague lied to me and told me that I was signing that for charity. <gasps> Interestingly, I didn't question that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't tell her to do that. No, she said it was a vegetable raffle. <laughs> Would you like me to make a donation to charity on your behalf? I do, but that's not going to help you here. <laughs> Pasco's really let well, you down. I'm not going to bother then. <laughs> charity. <laughs> Lolly, veg, signatures. So I got a signed CD by the Black Eyed Peas <laughs> <laughs> on some Black Eyed Peas. Oh, lovely. You can see it here. It is lovely. It's it's lovely. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Very All nice. four of the Black Eyed Strong. Peas. All four of them. Is a pea technically a vegetable? Black yes. Eyed Pea? Yes. Is it? Yeah. It's yeah. not a bean. No. It yep. is actually a vegetable. Yeah, I'm making yeah. a judgment on that right now. Thank Most, you. <laughs> the most threatening way that question's ever been asked. <laughs> it's not a legume, is it? <laughs> and I 
I think it's great. I think it's layers, and I like that. And, Thank uh, you. Yeah. You know, that, strong. And I can't lie about it. That's someone taking this competition seriously, making an effort, not just sticking an X on a carrot. <laughs> Clear leader. Clear leader. Now, vegetables, yes. signatures. I got um, Howard on a horseradish, Gary on a butternut squash. Oh my God. Mark on a heritage squash and Robbie on a sweet potato. No. Couldn't get Jason because he's gone AWOL with a rucksack. That's fine. He's a fruit. I got... <laughs> These are signatures from... TT. Take that. As I live and breathe. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> wow. OK, so we've got a new leader, isn't it? Yeah, very much, very much a new leader. Mm. This is going to have to be pretty special from you, Noel, to take well, this. Well, I think it's quite special. It's quite unusual. Right. Um, it's a broad bean. Lovely. And uh, it's David Suchet. <laughs> Poirot for you, Locke. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest with you, that is a home run for me. <laughs> Suchet on a broad bean. <laughs> That's what this competition is about. <laughs> You're going, to do. You're going to score it yeah, it's really... from top to bottom? I mean, it's really tough. Obviously, we know who's bottom, don't we, Hugh? <laughs> <laughs> and because of the charity suffering, unfortunately, I have to put Joe in second to last place. Okay. I'm not stolen from a charity. <laughs> no, 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 but your, your friend misled charity, and as a result, some people have perished. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I, I'm going to put Lolly in um, third place. Three because, points. Because okay. uh, the music Can of the I... Black Eyed Peas sickens Makes me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm finding it so hard because that is so powerful. But sometimes the simplicity, <laughs> sushi on a broad bean, yeah. bang. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. how I'm scoring it. Okay, good. Yeah. So the winner is Noel Taylor. Hold on. Hold on, move. Time to shift things up a gear. What's the next task? Okay, off we go. It's time for destruction <clears throat> and desserts. Hello. This is good territory. That's got a lovely rise on it, actually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Destroy, <laughs> Destroy this cake. Mmm. <laughs> it's a shame, though. Most beautiful destruction wins. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Not what I could do, so. Hmm. Well, I just need, um... I just need, uh, lots of knives. <laughs> <laughs> um... Creepy. <laughs> creepy mentioning knives and then... <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Do you want to start with the man and the knives? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Creepy knives cake man. <laughs> OK. Here is Hugh and the knives. Sinister. Relish with which you uh, sliced that cake up like it was a body. Yeah. <laughs> he claimed at the time, Hugh, you turned it into a clock and then he said, This is my showstopper, and you waltzed out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember doing that task. <laughs> <laughs> I have no memory of that at all. Is it exactly what a serial killer would say? <laughs> It's funny, though, when I think beauty, when someone says the word beauty to me... Clock, it's the first thing clocks, you think. Clocks, clocks, clocks. Straight away. <laughs> Lolly? Do you want to look at Lolly? 
Yes. Okay. The youngest ever competitor in Taskmaster. Oh, thank you. Oh. I'm only 12. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Ooh. <laughs> smells lovely. Mm, it really does. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> what we've just seen is a powerful. Powerful uh, metaphor for the age difference. <laughs> <laughs> An emoticon, if you will. That's what the kids do these days, mate. Hot. They take a silly old cake and they turn it into something beautiful. <laughs> Send it out on their phones for the world to see. Really lovely. Thank you. Really, I've got nothing Thank negative so to say about it. Thank really you. sweet. Um, <laughs> Joe, let's see what Joe did. Okay. Joe uh -huh. Lysett? Yeah. Yeah. Moment. I know. It was a thing of true beauty. It was like someone choreographing a ballet and then <laughs> coming out onto the stage afterwards and having a. <laughs> I mean, that truly oh. spectacular, Joe. Truly. Yeah. Mm. So we've still got Noel and Mel's beautiful cake destruction to go. See you after the break. <laughs> Taskmaster, where four comedians and ex Bake Off presenter Mel <laughs> <laughs> are destroying cakes. <laughs> Alex, who's next? It's Noel time. It's oh, time for Noel. Let's see Noel. how Noel beautifully destroyed his cake. destroy the washing machine Didn't um, it? but for three days after some cake kept coming up into the kitchen sink like they seem to be <laughs> uh, genuinely they're, for some reason they're connected so we have <laughs> but it also means my washing because I wash when you let me I wash some of my clothes in that machine you do and so some of my dirty will come up into your cups some of your <laughs> some of my dirty but <laughs> some of your dirt <laughs> <laughs> yeah I forgot a noun but yeah some of my dirty <laughs> I don't think I want your dirty on my couch. <laughs> I didn't think you wanted to. I didn't design it like that. I'm just saying that's how it is. Okay. So I'm sorry about that. We'll talk about your dirty later. <laughs> what cycle did you push it on? <laughs> just the regular one. Yeah. 40. I wasn't trying to clean the cake. <laughs> Let's, um, let's crack on and see Mel, someone whose life has been dominated by cake for so long. Don't say the C word. <laughs> Most beautiful destruction wins. 
You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Drawing a line under your Bake Off career. <laughs> yeah, you want me to destroy a cake? You cake. <laughs> Such a shame about the little trip on the way out. <laughs> she had half an hour, she used eight seconds of that. Yeah. So you could have judged them now. Yeah, okay, here I go. Okay. I mean, Hugh's in last place. <laughs> I like lollies, but I'm going to put it in fourth. What? Yeah. I think I'm just angry with you because you've got so much of your life ahead of you. <laughs> and that's going to happen sometime. That's going to happen for every task. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hashtag top. <laughs> um, I'm putting Mel in third place because whilst it was a fairly knee-jerk reaction, there was some beauty to the rage behind it. <laughs> Noel, I could have sat and watched that cake being destroyed in a washing machine for hours and putting him in second place. That's fair and enough. How can I not put, yeah. despite his wanton ambition, the beautiful firework display in first place? Okay. That's yeah. <laughs> Shall we see how the scoreboard looks now, Alex? OK, I've done it. The scoreboard looks just like this. No fieldings in the lead. Oh. <laughs> Another task, please, Alex. OK, and this one is set in the caravan on your driveway that you sometimes let me live in. It's a sort of, <laughs> sort of mystery art task. Ooh. Lovely. Oh, mm -hmm. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> believe I can hear the postman. Oh, I've got some mail. Create the best caricature of the person on the other side of the curtain. Other side of the curtain. Oh, this curtain. <laughs> you, may not... <laughs> you may not look at the person. The person may only say yes and no. You'll get a bonus point if you can find out the person's full name. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Hello, are you, are you behind the curtain? Yes. <laughs> it's a good job there's not a limit on the amount of questions you can ask. <laughs> that'd be a wasted question right there, wouldn't it? <laughs> Who's first? Well, interestingly, I've grouped Joe, Lolly, Mel and Noel together, so I've... I've, <laughs> I've not, you've isolated Hugh. I have isolated yeah. Hugh. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Why would that be? <laughs> Shall we see them? Yes. Hello. Oh, wait, that's not a yes or no question, is it? Hello. Uh, are you a man? No. Are, are you a, you're a lady? You're a lady? Yes. Yes. Are you a happy person? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. I mean, in your life in general. <laughs> have you got big eyes? Yes. Uh, do you have brown eyes? Yes. Are you a bit like a Disney character? Very, very big eyes. No. You got brown hair? No. Blonde hair? No. Red hair? No. White hair? No. Do you have hair? Yes. Crimped. Do you have crimped hair? No. Do you have a bob? No. Curly, wavy, spiky, plaited? No. What? Uh, do you have dreadlocks? Yes. Yay! Do you wear a scarf around your head? Yes. <gasps> Ooh -hoo -hoo. You sound very nice. Are you single? No. Are you very pretty? Yes. <laughs> do you have a necklace on? Yes. Is it a big necklace? No. Does it have a sort of amulet on it? Yes. Do you think it's a waste of my time asking you more questions about the necklace? Yes. OK, great. Have you got a roll neck on Ah! Oh. <laughs> Absolutely lovely to meet you. Can I shake hands through the curtain? Oh, <laughs> hi! Oh, I could have felt you! <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Bye. 
I see you're uh, taking your um, protest about pay on this show to uh, another level by stealing things. <laughs> I gave all of those things to charity. <laughs> <laughs> Once I'd signed them. <laughs> look, let's have a look at some pictures. OK, here are all four. So I should say, Noel decided not to use the canvas, he used the chopping board. <laughs> <laughs> Any reason for that? Just felt right? Uh, something was telling me to go with a sort of natural base rather than paper, which is quite white and shocking. I yeah. thought, that's something, something a little bit more easy on the eye. What do you yeah. think about Mel's one? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's absolutely insane. <laughs> I mean, even as a caricature, that would, <laughs> that would mortify anyone. I've got the ears really in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, is that what they are? <laughs> oh. I, I presume they were horrific wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out how the tragically isolated Hugh did after the break, plus whether any of the five managed to find out the mystery model's name. Master the show where five famous people are fighting over a withered courgette that I once scribbled on. <laughs> Alex, caravan based caricature? Yes, that's right. So far, we've seen Joe, Lolly, Mel, and Noel painting a woman they couldn't see. Yeah. Uh, we don't know yet how accurate they've been, nor have we seen how Hugh approached the task. Task. Oh, oh. Task. task. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. Let's see Hugh. Yeah. Oh. So I may not look at the person. Am I allowed out of the caravan? Why do you want to go out of the caravan, Hugh? I'm going to lift the curtain to expose you. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at you in, in a mirror. Here goes the curtain. Three minutes. OK. I'm going to lift it again, cos I can't really remember what's going on. You've got two minutes left, Hugh. OK. All right, I'll do that. It's not really a caricature, is it? It's a... <laughs> a quick look at the old arm. Coming again. <laughs> Ten seconds. I think I'm just going to stop that. <whistles> yes, if you would. Thank you, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to have a look in your mirror? I think I'm looking at you. No, looking... no, that doesn't... No, you're not looking at me. You're looking at the image of me. It looks like you. Yeah, no, but it's, it's the image of me. It's like looking at a film. It's exactly the same principle. I'm looking at you. You're not. I'm not looking at me. Now you're looking at me. Now you're looking in the mirror. Now you're looking at me. Now you're looking in the mirror. Where are you looking now? I'm back at school. <laughs> you can't touch me, can you, by doing that? Why not? No. Touch the mirror. You touch the mirror. Oh, I see what you mean. So that's not me. Yes, it is. No, that's not me. That's an image. I don't know. I genuinely don't know how I feel about it. When we get muddled, we listen to Michael Jackson, don't we? And he was looking at the man in the mirror. He wasn't looking at Michael Jackson in the mirror. So it I wasn't. think it's probably all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it would have been a rubbish song, I'm looking at me in the mirror. <laughs> I'm asking me to change his ways. Of course, he didn't change his ways, did he? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm, I'm still not sure whether to allow it. If Hugh's drawing of the model is spectacular, mm -hmm. then I think we can allow okay, it. Okay, well, do you want to see what she looked like first? Probably, yeah. Okay, this is her. Okay. And do you want to see her next to Hugh's picture of I... her? <laughs> well, I, I can't imagine that that lady would look any less distinctly like that lady in a mirror. Well, yeah, Hugh looked at the image of her in the mirror several times and he drew this. <laughs> Thank you. I realise... Yeah. Sitting side on. Yeah. Oh, you've yeah. got the aspect right. Yeah, yeah, you? yeah. <laughs> but for you, what we've learnt here is that a mirror image takes a black woman 
<laughs> to a fat, bald, white man. <laughs> In many yeah. ways, it is the Michael Jackson story. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really good. I mean, in many ways, it's the best thing I've ever seen on the show. <laughs> well, do you want to see all five and then you can judge them? I mean, I don't need to judge you <laughs> last. Oh, that's so unfair. <laughs> OK, well, here are, here are all five for you, Greg. Here we go. It's <laughs> not? <laughs> terrible! <laughs> They're all terrible! <laughs> in first place. Well, in first place, I'm going to put Noel, because it's a decent drawing yeah. and, you know... <laughs> I'm going to put Joe in second place, because it, it, looks, it looks vaguely human. <laughs> <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll put Lolly's withered baby in third. <laughs> Mel's flat-faced abomination. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, how, where else can I put Hugh's fat, bald, white man <laughs> but in last place? <laughs> Alex, we don't actually know the model's name yet and that they got a bonus point for guessing the name correctly. This is how they got on. Here we go. Does your name start with a vowel? No. Does it begin with a letter in the first half of the alphabet? Yes. Does your name begin with B? No. OK, I'm going to go through the letters of the alphabet. D. No. E. No. F. No. G. No. H. No. I. No. J. Yes. J. Jemima. No. Gemma. No. Joanna. No. Jazz. Jasmine. No. Julie. No. Julia. No. <laughs> I've run out of names. <laughs> uh... Not Jemima. No. Jennifer. Yes. Jennifer Coolidge. No. <laughs> Does your surname begin with A? No. Geraldine. No. That's a G. <laughs> U. No. V. No. W. Yes. J. W. John T. Williams. No. Start with L. No. N. No. M. No. P. No. Jasmine. No. <laughs> uh, what was her name? Uh, Helen. Yes. Uh, Robertson. Can you write down your full name? Yes. Thank you. Right, here we are. Jennifer Christine Wright. Thank you. Lateral. Lost. Lateral. Something has paid off. <laughs> wow. Jennifer Christine Wright. Um, Mel also got that, just from guessing eventually. You got Jennifer. Did I? Yeah, you didn't well, get your first two J guesses were Jocasta and Jonty. <laughs> 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 Whereas Lolly, yeah, Lolly, you got you have, you got Jennifer, and then straight in Coolidge, Jennifer Coolidge, bang, <laughs> who uh, uh, is Stifler's mum in American Pie, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a Jennifer. Well, it's going to be Stifler's mum from American Pie. <laughs> oh, Jennifer. <laughs> well, they're going to go Route One here. <laughs> uh, Noel found out that it was a beautiful name and left it there. <laughs> No bonus points. Did I get right? Yes. Is her name right? Jennifer Wright. Jennifer Wright. And I got that right. Yes. <laughs> Lovely bonus point. Lovely. To go with all your other delicious points that you've got. <laughs> Who else got bonus points then? Just uh, Hugh. Just Hugh. That brings me up to five in yeah. total. <laughs> I thought, so, yeah, it brings him up to four in total. So. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You can see the scoreboard there, four. I think. Did I not? Oh, we're going to be... No, okay. just four. Oh, no. <laughs> there is one more task to go. Good. Can we have that task, please? Yes, uh, it's a case of felling ducks. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Uh, Hello, Mel. Very nice. It's my taskmaster salute. Hello. Hello, Lily. Fell all the rubber ducks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fastest wins. Your time starts when the first rubber duck falls. So my time, I'm fine for time now, because nothing started. Right, OK. Is this because of my outfit? Is this what this is happening? <laughs> yeah. Now, you probably think that I'm the leader. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> 
Yes, because when the Ducks leader does emerge, it'll be a, a man with a skeleton on a nuclear suit. <laughs> We're going to look at Joe first. I should say they have to do the felling behind the rope, but they could stray in front of the rope to set up their felling technique. Yeah. OK. Here is Joe Lysett's felling. <laughs> Yeah, I can do some good work with that. <laughs> yeah, I've gone a bit dizzy. Is this...? Oh, shut up. <laughs> you could run up with that. Just keeps going. Oh, my God, there's a bowling ball. There's a bloody bowling ball in there. <laughs> <laughs> This is it, mate. <laughs> fail to prepare, prepare to fail. <laughs> so the time starts and when the first duck falls. Yeah. So actually, feasibly, it could all be over in a few seconds. That's the plan. <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Yes, 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 yes. how quickly something can go from someone real precision planning. Like, it was like an episode of the A-Team for about <laughs> two minutes I'm going to use these implements, and then just... We just flip into someone having a mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Effective, though. Yeah, he, he knocked them all over in 1 minute 56, and then Ooh. he said he felt absolutely great about his performance. <laughs> right, lovely. One fifty-six. I don't know how that stacks up, but it feels good. That's good on the day. I thought it'd be nice to look at Hugh now. Oh, lovely. Oh. <laughs> oh, and then it's elastic, this thing, isn't it? The clock has started. So, the clock. <laughs> that wasn't nearly as much fun as I thought it was going to be. And that is the magic of this show. Someone who looks like they are going to humiliate themselves <laughs> across a series can suddenly be back in the game. It's like Billy Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> so it was 8.9 seconds faster than Usain Bolt. He doesn't do that, though, does he? No, <laughs> it's not. It's not different disciplines. No, the two don't compare. No, yeah. no. It's time for a break now. Get excited, because in the last part of the show, we'll see Lolly, Mel and Noel felling ducks. All of them take to the stage for the final task of the show. Plus, the lucky winner will be heading home with some rotten, ink-stained vegetables. <laughs> It's the final part of the show, and there's a task that still needs completing. What was happening before the break, Alex? Well, they've been felling ducks, Greg. Joe was quite quick, Hugh was even quicker, but what about the others? Well, it's time to see Noel and Mel grouped together. Lovely. Mm. Come on. <laughs> 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 oh, no! I can't get the purchase. <laughs> Am I anywhere near them? I'm going to have to rethink. How am I going to make these bell? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right, boom. <laughs> yes, two down. This is going to be impossible. <laughs> That's it. The ducks. Yeah. He's annoying me, that one there. Nice. Oh. Oh. 
Should have done that first of all. Have you found a way, Mel? I think I have, my darling. Boom. And then, oh, hello, hello, swingy, swingy with elastic. <laughs> Boom. Very interesting to see how the human mind works under pressure, isn't it? Mm. I mean, in your mind, Mel, I imagine that swinging that ball on that piece of rope, it was going to be first row, the first, <laughs> second row, <laughs> low row. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. All in one move. Yeah. All in one move, in my mind's eye. Yeah. I was Fatima Whitbread. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you both got there using the technique known as the Dennis in the end. Oh. <laughs> but you both also had the instinct, I'm going to deal with these one duck at a time. <laughs> Pretty much picking out ducks I didn't like the look of. <laughs> Respectable, Noel, uh, 4 minutes 50 total. That's good. Whereas Mel, 7 minutes 25, which is <laughs> more than 4 seconds per duck. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> another despite, duck. Despite her devastating windmill technique. <laughs> One to go. One to go. Lolly had a focus. She's been isolated. Good news or bad? <gasps> bad. Oh. <laughs> Can I use the hose? Do whatever you want, Lolly. OK. <laughs> I think the hose isn't working. So the issue is that the duct's too far away. If we can move the ducts closer and still use the hose... One, <laughs> two... Three. Lift. That's great. You're going to go for it? Yeah. I'm ready with the clock. Oh, the first one's gone. style points available, then ducks would yeah. want to be knocked off with water, so it's <laughs> really beautiful. What intrigues me is that you realise the hose wasn't powerful enough, and then you very cleverly thought, well, I'll bring the ducks closer to me, but you didn't bring them very close. <laughs> I was really worried that they were going to I'm going to do this in a sporting <laughs> way. <laughs> I like a challenge. <laughs> she was uh, second quickest with one minute and two seconds. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, in last place was Mel, then Noel, Joe, Lolly and Hugh, of course, the winner. I think I'll still be bottom, though, don't you? <laughs> well, you're, you're certainly not going to win. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's well in the last. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. well in the last place. Oh. Yeah. Right, we're nearing the end of the show, but there's one challenge remaining. Please, can you all head to the stage for the last task of the show? <laughs> Yeah, on stage for the first time. Interesting mix of human beings, isn't it? <laughs> Mel, would you read out uh, the final task to your enemies? Make the most juice. You must pick one fruit and one tool. If you pick the same tool as someone else, you must juice blindfolded. If you pick the same fruit as someone else, you must juice one-handed. If you pick the same fruit and tool as someone else, you must juice blindfolded, one-handed, and bouncing up and down. <laughs> you have one minute. Well, I think that's clear to everyone. <laughs> what do you define as juice? What do I define as juice? <laughs> I didn't really follow that last bit. You gonna choose... <laughs> signposts. You've got signposts. Choose your tool and fruit with a signpost, the name of the tool or the fruit. Yeah, hold them up to your chest. To your chest, obviously. So the audience can see uh, them? No, nope, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? Because Alex's tone is that this is all obvious. <laughs> <laughs> is a coconut a nut, not a fruit? Oh, God. <laughs> not, you have to pick a tool, Hugh. I don't. You do. <laughs> you have to use a tool. I've got knives! <laughs> So, right-hand fruit, if you can show me. Hugh, what fruit? Pineapple. Joe. Pineapple. <laughs> Lolly. Grapes. Lovely. 
Mel, lime, no, grapes. Okay, so everyone, except for Mel, is juicing one-handed. Okay. <gasps> Hugh, what tool will you be using? Tweezers, a pineapple <laughs> hammer, grapes, and another hammer. Shoe. Lime, shoe, and grapes. Tweezers. <laughs> Tweezers. <laughs> So happy, Hugh. I did not, in my wildest fantasies, think anyone else would choose tweezers. <laughs> well, we've got blindfolds here yep. because of double tweezers at the end there. Yes. <clears throat> double tweezers, and, blindfolds. Simple. And double hammer blindfolds. Double hammers, oh. blindfolds. So Mel has done very well if she can juice a lime with a shoe. <laughs> Which is a sentence that in the history of humankind will never be uttered again. <laughs> so, everyone, one hand behind the back, except for Mel. Except for oh, me. God, me as well. well. What? Yes, because you doubled up your grapes with lolly adafoku. Yeah, the rules were made very clear. <laughs> Let's chase! Yes! the amount of juice collected. Let's bring you all down and see how that's affected the final score. <laughs> Celebrity juicing, Alex. Mm. How did they do? Well, should we start with the grapes, guys? Uh, Lolly and Noel. Yep. Very calmly just patted their grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Lolly, Lolly made 0.4 of a milliliter of grape juice. <laughs> and Noel, two milliliters of wine, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> then what happened? These two guys, the, uh, the bucket men, yep. I measured the amount of juice that was in the shards of Hugh's glass, cos he put it in his pocket and it obviously immediately uh, broke. OK. I mean, obviously immediately broke. <laughs> what glass in human history is broken immediately and putting it oh, in a pocket? Plastic. <laughs> um, but he, did, he managed to get four millilitres in there of pineapple juice. I know, but there's What? Just... In the shards? Well, there was so much pineapple spraying around, lots of it went in the shards. <laughs> and Joe was just left with three millilitres, but, um, Mel and Shoe, she got, um... <laughs> <laughs> She delicately and craftily squeezed seven millilitres of lime juice. <laughs> so now wins the cake. Now wins the cake. All right, now, Alex, what's that done to the final scoreboard? Well, Hugh and Lolly are tied in last place, and there's only one point separating the top two. This week's winner is Noel Fielding! <laughs> All that's left for you to do is to go up and grab your veg. <laughs> Well, there we are, Alex. One down. That's right. I love you and I love my wife equally. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have we learned today? Well, we've learned if you're thinking of being Hugh Dennis's baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> <laughs> we've also found out that the winner of the first episode of Series 4 of Taskmaster is none other than Mr Noel Fielding! <laughs> Thank you, everybody. See you next time. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>